y'all it's your girl dr nina you guys have seen me work on so much with my skin and you've seen my journey with skin and many of you know my background story of the time where i was 108 pounds heavier a lot of my skin issues arose during that time so i've really had to adjust work on my skin figure out the best things that work for me and keeping it clear and eczema has been no different so hopefully a lot of the things i show you guys today will be beneficial for you fall comes and the leaves is falling off the trees and they all beautiful and turning colors and textures so is my skin for those of you all that don't know what eczema is it's a term used to describe skin conditions that cause inflammation discoloration and also itchy and flakiness eczema comes on my legs or my waist and chest area or if you're lighter complected or lighter toned the skin that is affected by eczema is usually going to be red itchy and flaky and sometimes blister and even crust over if you're darker complected like me I get itchy and scratchy I have darker areas of the skin and to the touch are a lot different from the rest of the skin. Not exactly the funnest of things. There's no known cure for eczema, but if you know what's causing you to flare up and you know those symptoms, then you can treat those and see less flare ups. If you itching, flaking, and scratching everywhere and you don't know what's going on with your skin, go to the doctor. Nope, don't turn the video off. Watch the rest, but then go to the doctor. For those of us with eczema, we have trouble with what produces those extra fats and oils that protect the skin and create barriers that keep us from getting those dry, itchy, flaky patches. So today's remedies are gonna focus on building up that skin's barrier, ways to retain moisture in your skin, and showing you the methods that I personally use to keep away from that inflammation and flaky skin. But while I have you, make sure that you comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for videos upload also make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I upload I wanted to caution you guys before all of this starts I have a lot of solutions in this video but you do not use all of this at once nor do you I use these things and rotate them as you need them and if you find things that work for you stick with them if you need to move on to something else do that but definitely you need to be moisturizing taking good care of that skin and sealing in moisture so that you can get rid of that dry itchy flaky skin I've brought you all many videos on my body care routines even showering so if you need a link to those they're down below in the information section if you're interested but when it comes to my eczema I'm usually more focused on bathing I like to soak and it's very important for me so I use this oatmeal soap which you just need one cup of oatmeal and large pieces of cheesecloth and of course your bathtub but oatmeal is great for moisturizing and soothing and also anti-inflammatory properties that it has within if you're unfamiliar with cheesecloth I have a link to it down below so you can learn more about it I take my large cheesecloth which is much like strong cloth with holes in it and then I pour in that oatmeal to the middle and kind of make like a little makeshift bag. I take a small piece of cheesecloth and tie it around so that it keeps it secure so that it doesn't open up. After that I take a longer thinner piece of the cheesecloth and I wrap it around where there's already a knot. This is so that I can hang this bag. I then turn the water on lukewarm and from there I go ahead and hang the bag right over the faucet. This is so I create something that that's allowing the oatmeal to filter through the cheesecloth. It's getting down into the bathtub and it's creating like a nice milky oatmeal-y bath. And I just throw the bag in so that it can soak. And I also squeeze it when I get into the bath and rub that over the affected areas. I get a lot on my legs. In fact, I have a really dry spot that's starting to become darker on my legs right now. So I'm gonna rub the oatmeal directly on that area. I limit my time in the tub to about 10 to 15 minutes. I use lukewarm water instead of hot because hot water strips the skin of moisture which can irritate it further so then I towel blot dry instead of just drying it really hard because you can irritate your body even more the next thing that I love to do as far as a spot treatment is green clay masks you just need enough green clay to cover your area that you're going to be treating and also enough witch hazel and water to make a paste green clay seems to help me with pain itching and also the hotness that you feel when your skin gets inflamed while witch hazel seems to help with crust and blisters that can occur. Here I used about a tablespoon of green clay and then I followed it up with some of the witch hazel. I then try to mix it up and add water or witch hazel as needed to make a thick, nice paste. 
Once that's done, I find my target area. And here I have this crusty little area that's turning darker on my skin and I put the clay right on it. I allow that to dry. You're gonna need about 10 to 20 minutes for it to dry. And when you're done, you just wipe it off with cool water. Make sure it's cool and not hot. And you can also just rinse it off if your skin is extra irritated. If you have some of this leftover in the end, you can keep it in an airtight container. And if it does dry out, you can just add more witch hazel and water to loosen it back. Up. Another great spot treatment that I use much the same is raw organic honey. It seems to help to speed up the process of broken skin and it also is a humectant so it pulls moisture from the air putting it back into those drier more blistery areas. Be warned that honey is sticky so don't go slathering it all over your body unless you want to be slippery sticky buns. I put this on and leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes and you can do it several times a day if you want. You can put a bandage over it if you want to keep it from getting sticky or sticking to everything and also just rinse it off with cool to lukewarm water. So there's several ways to start to lock in moisture and get more moisture into the skin. And one of the things I love to use is Eucerin. It's a store-bought lotion. It's a little more pricier than other lotions, but it's beneficial, very rich, thick formula that lasts a long time. It's full of alpha hydroxies and it heals and moisturizes the skin. Now yeah, I knew I couldn't leave out cooking it up in the kitchen with my dry skin body butter. And with this one, you're gonna use shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, jojoba oil, oil and optional is lavender oil but all together these help to soothe that dry itchy painful skin and also seal in moisture. Different renditions of this butter that I've done over the years seems to improve my skin and help it feel softer. So using a double boiler uh, if you don't have a double boiler you can definitely use a regular pan but be careful because these ingredients easily burn so continue to stir. I add in the beeswax and the jojoba oil first and let those mix down and then the coconut oil and then the shea butter because shea butter can overcook making your mixture very grainy so just mix it around really well until it melts pour it into your container safely and allow it to sit and get hard now you can also put it in the freezer for a little while if you were in a rush at this time I add any essential oil that I want before it solidifies and I like lavender because it helps to soothe itchy dry skin and I just put my top on and let it sit for a while it's going to be completely solid by the time you're ready to use as it as you can see and you take a bit and rub it all over I usually rub this all over my body my skin feels really good when I do this and it seems to sink in very well and locks in the moisture another you can try out to lock in moisture is jojoba oil which is very similar to the oil your body already produces so that's awesome it's like a liquid wax it's lots of fatty acids very rich and deep penetrating for the skin no matter what the people say i'm in love with that coco this oil sinks way down into the skin which is awesome because it creates a fatty barrier keeping all the moisture into the skin with any of those the eucerin coconut oil or jojoba oil i try to make sure that i massage it deep into my skin that's to make sure that it's protected and it keeps moisture inside. Though oils and even lotions seem to be pretty safe, a lot of times everybody can't do them. So vegetable glycerin is also an option for keeping in moisture. It's plant-based, it's very pure and made of water, it's a humectant so it pulls moisture from the air and it aids in healing the skin and is an alternative to all the oils. With this one I usually go with one part glycerin and one part water and I just mix them together and you can do it as you need it. If you need less glycerin that's fine too or less water that's fine too. Just mix them together until they're well blended like so and then spray it directly onto your body and add it just like you would the oils or the lotion. It seems to really penetrate into the body and with this one I often feel really soft and not greasy after using it. It's just really beneficial and if you have problems with oils it's a good alternative. One quick tip that could help you from the inside out is taking fish oil daily because it has omega-3s and fatty acids. That can help stop with that itching and scratching because it builds up that fatty layer and barrier on the skin. You might want to try researching and finding out things that might be aggravating your eczema, but eat things that are anti-inflammatory like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, healthy fats, fish, things that are high in omega-3s as well. You want to have foods that are high in quercetin and probiotics, so you want to have lots of apples, blueberries, cherries, broccoli, spinach, kale. Even food allergies you might have could be aggravating your eczema, so make sure you know about those and stay away from those as well. I hope today's video has been very beneficial for you guys. If there's something you're using for your eczema, please let us know down below. We want to make sure that we're sharing those ways as we're entering these colder months. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Hey.